So what did we learn from our second installment of the Junk Sports Sumo Special on February the 16th? Firstly, we were reminded of blubbery Chiomaru's mischievous side, especially when it comes to annoying Enho. Last year's self-shot video in which he rudely awakes the sleeping Enho to tell him, Sleep while you can, was rebroadcast, alongside new footage of Maru gripping the back of Enho's sash as they walked to the dokyo for a practice tour ceremony. It is not known if Enho has since gained revenge. Secondly, Enho continues to frequently dine with high school mate Kagayaki, particularly in Tokyo's Monzen Nakacho district, renowned for Tomioka Shrine and its Yokozuna monument, as well as numerous cramped and crumbling eateries. The two Kanazawa-born wrestlers were filmed shoveling stewed tuna, stewed swordfish, and Pacific cod sashimi into their mouths at this seven-seat bar called Nice Idea, and devouring Sichuan dishes at Oriental Sakaba Jiri here. During these dinners, we received the inside story on the landmark Enho Kagayaki matches in Division 1 last year, Enho, citing Kagayaki as his inspiration for turning pro, was overawed by the man's very presence during their first encounter last July, which he quickly lost. Even 150 replays could not remove the pain of defeat. Kagayaki, who was 6 foot 2 even in junior high, said it was important to win the match against a man over whom he's always towered, and let Enho know, you're not good enough to beat me yet. But I didn't exactly back those words up in September, did I? He laughed when recalling Enho's spectacular victory on that occasion. Thirdly, Enho also revealed he was dumped by his junior high school sweetheart just prior to being scouted by Haku Hall. A sad story, said Kagayaki listening in. They had an argument, and she fell into someone else's arms. If that hadn't happened, he might not have turned pro. We'd been together for six years, Enho continued, so it was tough to get over. But Hakuho emphatically told me, You only get one shot at life, and that shook me out of my slumber. Now I get to do something I love for a living. He also recounted some job interviews prior to university graduation, in which his interviewers expressed surprise that he wasn't thinking of becoming a professional sumo wrestler. Then we got some bonus footage from 2002 of an eight-year-old Enho fighting in school competition and punching the dohyo when he lost. Fourth, Enho has a special technique for waking himself up. During the segment filmed inside his narrow private room at Miyagino Stable, the little man confessed to feeling tired first thing in the morning and showed how he puts his head inside a bedside fridge door to jolt his senses into action. Kagayaki assured the studio audience he wasn't so strange in junior high. Fifth, back to food, and Dai Eisho believes he's created the ultimate egg and rice dish by adding copious amounts of oyster sauce. He prepared the dish in the studio for everyone present. It was well received, especially by best friend Takakesho, who practically sucked it from the bowl. Next, we got an insight into Sho Hozan's daily life. He's been married since 2013 and has two young sons, six-year-old Yukiya and three-year-old Takaya, who were shown cheering him on in front of their car's TV screen. The tension prior to initial impact was as palpable as the elation they felt when their father won. Wife Ai read an emotional letter to the camera to remind her husband that Yukiya worships him and proudly tells his friends he wants to be Shohozan. She also stressed that she had gained strength herself through watching him consistently defeat larger foes. The family lives in a new house just a five-minute bike ride from Nishonoseki Stable. Shohozan apparently mops the marble floor there far more thoroughly than he ever did at the stable. He also enjoys slouching on his new couch after morning training. As he's 36 now, he takes extra care over his diet, increasing his intake of mozuku, vinegar-seasoned seaweed, and aojiru, vegetable juice. Seventh, 
Shawhaw's unconsidered retirement in 2015 when a 114 score was followed by two losing records in the second division. Wife I gave her assent as long as he could honestly say he was retiring with no regrets. Shaw Horzan had plenty, and so redoubled his efforts in the practice area, storming to the Division 2 title in the next tournament, and scooping a Fighting Spirit prize in Division 1 the tournament after that. Eighth, we learned how wrestlers meet their wives. Shaw Horzan at another stable's training session. I was introduced as a friend of another Rikishi's girlfriend. Tokushoryu met his wife at a Kinshicho curry shop after the owner played matchmaker with another customer. Toya Noshima met his at a friend's party. Ninth, Toya Noshima told us that every win for a Maigashira against a Yokozuna or Gold Star adds about $300 to the wrestler's appearance bonus paid each tournament. Shohozan was shown with a face deluged by tears after beating Haruma Fuji for his first Gold Star seven years ago. The flying floor cushions really got me. I'd recreated a fabulous scene that I'd watched wide-eyed on TV as a child, he explained. Yes, seeing those cushions fly is amazing, Dai Eisho concurred. Stop mimicking me, Shohozan grumbled. You know, more than the floor cushions, it's the feeling of actually beating a Yokozuna which really strikes you, Takakesho added with a grin. Well, that and the extra money. Tenth. And finally, do our wrestlers like amusement parks? I got a photo taken with Mickey Mouse, Dai Esho beamed. I couldn't get the seatbelt to fit round me on the Tower of Terror ride, Tokushoryu chimed in by video. And I've never been to an amusement park since turning pro because I dislike crowds, was how Takakesho brought that segment to an end. Lots of fun, lots of laughs. We look forward to another Junk Sports Sumo Special next year.